Elvis Memorial Fan Club are heading to Memphis this weekend to mark the 25th anniversary of Presley's death next week. A local fan who is not making the trip has his own commemoration plans for the entertainer who had a big impact on the island. Kirk Fernandez reports. We try to focus a lot on Elvis Presley and the time he spent in Hawaii. He did a lot for our islands and he really loved the time that he spent here. The memorabilia is all for sale. There are photos from the 1973 Aloha from Hawaii concert, a landmark live world broadcast for the Kuili Cancer Fund. But that wasn't Presley's first benefit concert in the islands. Twelve years earlier, he helped raise $65,000 to build the Arizona Memorial. A plaque in the visitor center recognizes fundraisers, including Presley, but a larger plaque was removed from the actual memorial in the early 80s, when the National Park Service took over the site from the Navy. Ever since, fans have been trying to reverse that decision. The latest attempt is by signature petition. In addition to the concerts, Elvis filmed three movies in the islands, the most famous by far, was Blue Hawaii. You are heaven to me. This is actually an interesting shot because this is Elvis up at Tantalus, where and it's one of the few places that still looks the same way it does when he shot the movie. The view, of course, from Tantalus has changed, but that's him up at Tantalus. And the Elvis Island connection even extends into Hawaii's first family. This one is really, really interesting because I don't know if you recognize that little girl, but her name was Vicky too. And now her name's Vicky Cayetano. Yes, First Lady Vicky Cayetano had a starring role in the 1963 film, It Happened at the World's Fair. I'm really seven, except when I go on a bus, then I'm only five. All right, that'll be our secret. That's Elvis and Hawaii. Kirk Fernandez, Channel 2 News.